tuki nei ka pa te tuki kei Hawaii ki kā tapu kā noa tēnā te hau, ko te hau o tū, ko te hau o tā whiri mātea. Wāria ki runga, wāria ki raro tā koto, tūturu whakamoa ki a tēnā, tēnā. Kaumi e hui e tāi ki e. Mā miki ki a koutou katoa, mō koutou tōtou koutou i tēnei kaupapa. This morning, everybody. Great to see everybody this morning in a little bit of a different space this morning. So uh, just my connection was a little bit poor there. I hope everyone's coming in loud and clear now. Um, and to those that are coming in, I see a couple of new names there. Um, no my haru mai whakatau mai. Just come in and just relax into our space, a small session of just waking into our day and just acknowledging uh, Ngāko Oho, our balance, our waking of our systems or acknowledgements of our systems, just a space to ignite and bring to a bit of awareness into these spaces. And all great to see everybody this morning. Um, this morning, just to make mention, we were having some kōrero yesterday and some of the stuff that was coming up um, was around our... To start with, there was um, a kupu Māori and Māori. And one of the kōrero comes up was um, for our connection to these kupu. Māori was our... Māori was our ao, ao, uh, our universal kind of... Um, our universal... Uh, energy, the energy that comes through the world of light, and our modi was the um, was the was the energy that comes through us. So the ao and the o. Um, so it was quite a it was an awesome kōrero actually about those two kupu Māori and modi. The other one for Māori was uh, when they broke it in two. There was ma and ori. So ma being white representing pure and ori representing vibration. So um, considering those concepts, it was sort of along the line of pure vibration. Um, also in our real, in our language, but um, the kōrero was, that was coming through was the real, was the vibration of the language. So real came first and then the language came. So it was, um, it was a big discussion, but um, just nice to share some um, kupu. Also, the, the Purako, I think we'd spoken about all our Purako that come to us and we um, listen to, and it's it's the what parts of those do we hold on to, what parts of those do we acknowledge. And it was uh, it was interesting because you could tell the same Purako, the same story, and people would pick up different points. People, uh, the different points of the Purako would be acknowledged in different areas by different people, which kind of gave an indication of where they sat within themselves. So it was, um, I found that quite interesting, even through our, um, our mythological Purako and all those things that they teach us, it was also what part of those were uh, being held onto. And what do they teach us? What do they teach others? And um, the kaupapa around, you know, the lessons missed was all, will always come back to teach us again. Um, to be just to be observant and mindful and um, connected, engaged with and in life. And you kind of the clarity around your thinking, the clarity around what you picked up and saw was a lot more clearer. Um, and just to keep practices that keep us well, um, if change is needed, then to make change. Because um, that was another thing that sort of came up was um, what do we leave to rest? Uh, things may things may be well for us at a time, but what what do we leave to rest, and what do we ignite for our um, for our continual evolvement or our continual path? Um, so what draws from you? What what sort of calls to you? And to um, that's why the corridor sort of ended up coming back to living from here instead of here, coming back out of the analytical mind to the heart space. And they say that's the longest road, that's the longest journey, is from the head back to the heart. So it was an interesting day, some nice corridor and just some nice energy shared. And, you know, it was always, ah, um, oh, that was the other one, the cafe philosopher, the cafe philosopher. And uh, that was a bit of a funny one because, you know, a lot, a lot of times we'll sit around and, 
you know, have our have our cuppers and kuriru about philosophy, but when it's putting rubber to the road, that's when the uh, that's when the mahi starts, and it's sort of not easy sometimes, but um, you know, that's where we find our doorways and um, to close some and open some. Kapa, yeah, so it was an interesting day. I just wanted to share those couple of points that sort of come up yesterday. I thought were relevant to some of the mahi that we're doing in the mornings. Awesome, whānau. Let's just put on some waiata and let's just start to open up our tīnana. Start to move into our space. So always just like to start through the kaki. A lot of energy moving through this space. Just fine. If you're just coming in, sometimes it helps if you're sitting cross legged just to elevate yourself on the pillow. It can sort of help your sitting position. Otherwise, if you're uh, fine, then you're straight onto the floor. Right. Hakiroto. Hakiwaho. Start to bring more of our awareness onto our breath through the whole session. Just feel it entering and leaving the tinama. Right, just dropping our chin to our chest. But if you need some more weight, just bring in our lingering up onto the upoko. Just starting to stretch through the top, the back of the neck, the top of the spine all through into the base of the skull just open up these places toru ua tahi kafiti tirukirunga just opening up the throat area which you apply your ringa ringa underneath your chin apply pressure if you need more of a stretch through there Oru Lua Tahi. Back to our center, Titiruki Maui. So just driving our chin over our left shoulder, dropping the eyes behind the shoulder onto the floor. Just opening up the space all through the neck. Oru Lua Tahi. Mai Fakafiti. Back onto the other side over the right shoulder, eyes drop onto the back of the floor. Oru lua tahi, back to centre and just tilting the upoko. Keep your eyes and our head facing forward. Bring your arm over if you need more of a stretch. Some may not, some may need to. Just to drive open. All down the side of the kaki onto the shoulder. Toru, lua, tahi, bai whakafiti. To this side. Nice too if we've uh, kind of slipped on it the wrong way or anything. It's really good to keep energy moving through here. Toru, lua, tahi, back to centre. Just drawing ourselves forward, walking ourselves forward on your riga riga. Just dropping the upoko, using the weight of the head just to pull into the stretch. Start to open up through the arms, all through the shoulders, through the centre of the shoulder blades, down through the back. Now we're starting to pull into the rest of the spine, down into the glutes, into the lower, lower back. Just focusing on the breathing it can be a little bit difficult, but once you get the hang of it, more practice, you get used to it. Kapai coming back up to center. Remember our breath in and our breath out, dropping deeper into it. Hakiroto. Hakiwako. Coming, see if you can drop in just a little bit deeper. Feel that all through, starting opening up the tinama. <coughs> Just holding just past the comfortable stage. Toru, lua, tahi. Right, coming back up to centre. 
Ha ki roto, ha ki waho, dropping our chin to our left knee, coming to the side, opening, beginning to open up the side of the torso, down into the side of the lower back, and just come into where you can feel that stretch, nothing overdoing it, but just to feel your tinana working a little bit. So Ru, Rua, Tahi, right, coming back up to centre, Whakawhiti, Haki Roto, Haki Waho, to the right knee, chin to the right knee, just to where as far as you can come to. Start to open up the other side of the torso, the tinana. Just keep the awareness about the breath. Toru, Rua, Tahi, coming back up to centre. Hakiroto, Hakiwaho, left elbow to the floor. Just starting to open up all down through the lats, opening up the ribs down into the side of the hips. Bring the arm over if you need more. Just remember to keep the, keep the shoulder back so our chest is not hunched forward and closing our chest. Keep the shoulder back. Just try and relax the tinana. And the stretch will move deeper into the body. Toru, Rua, Tahi. Up to centre. Akafiti, Hakiroto. Hakiwaho. Right elbow to the floor. Move back onto the side. Again, bring the arm over if you need more of a stretch. Just open up that whole side of the tinana and keep the shoulder back. Just so we're not opening our, uh, closing our chest area, sorry. Oru, Nua, Taki. Up to centre. Let's find your place. We're focusing on having our palms facing each other off the knees, if that's possible where you are. Or heiki akwe, just coming into our stool space. My eyes closed. Start to feel the breath. Right, just start to elongate the breath, just longer, slower and deeper. Just be mindful of the energy that's pulsating through the palm of the hands. You can feel the energy as if there's a big ball between your hands. Paiana, just want you to start feeling the energy that pulsates through the tinana. Hakiroto. Hakiwaho. By our first breath, we'll just take him to the fucking manawa. So through the uh, through the mind's eye. Hakiroto. Just give your attention and focus here. Breath in. Release the breath. Now attention to our manoa, the center of our chest. Hakiroto, breath in. Just bring your focus and attention to the center of the Pumanawa, the center of the Puku, the Pito, Hakiroto, draw the breath into the space.
Rocky Wong. Uh, next three breaths, draw through the uri, the groin area, and drawing directly, follow the line of the spine all the way to the top of the upoku, to the crown. Hakiroto. Push the pito back towards the spine, engage the puku, and lift the breath through the pumanawa, the manawa, through the poka, the whakumanawa, and hold at the crown at the pumotomoto. Toru, Lua, Taki, release your breath. Aloha Kiroto, bring the breath up. Do the Uri. Engage the Pito, push the Pito, the belly button back towards the spine. Engage the Poku, lift the energy through the breath. Up through the pumanawa, through the heart space, solar plex, up through the throat, koka. Following the breath up through the hinengaro, holding at the crown, feel the energy circulating at the top of your upoko, holding for toru, dua, tahi, release your breath through the mouth. Dropping your shoulders, relaxing on the outgoing breath. Hakiroto, draw the breath through the uri, engage the pito, lifting the energy from our pumanoa through our breath up to the solar plex, the manoa, koka. Holding at the top of the upoko, feel the energy circulating. Toru, ua, tahi, release the breath out through the mouth, relax the body, the jaw, the shoulders, and release. I bring our attention to the center of the chest. We are manawa. Begin to draw breath, breathing in and out of the heart. Feel the energy pulsating through the space. Feel the chest expanding and releasing. into the space and begin to feel the heart open. Feel its warmth, its flow, its connection. Feel your focus connecting, your breath connecting and the heart opening. Feel its energy pulsating through the tinana, through the toto, through the cells. Its energy field pulsating through the body. Join in the connection to the mana of aroha. Feel us floating in on every intaking breath. Now for kafetai, we have gratitude. Join these in through the breath. Feel the warmth becoming warmer, the glow becoming brighter. Focusing on the breath, breathing in and out of the heart. By 
and with intention and focus begin to flush this through every cell of the tinana the energy from the heart space the energy of aroha and gratitude flushing through the entire body up through the neck through the scalp through the forehead down through the eyes through the cheeks through the chin through the relaxed jaw down through the throat onto the top of the shoulders Connecting and flushing from the heart down through the shoulders, the arms, elbows through the forearms, all the way to the tips of the fingers. Feel a connection from palm to palm, the energy that pulsates. Flushing down through the chest, through the upper back and shoulder blades. Down through the solar plex, the mid back. Down into the pumanoa, the lower puku, into the lower back. Mindful that our heart. The energy is connecting to all through the tinana, saturating the tinana, down through the hips, through the uri, through the thighs, the top of the legs, through the knees, through the calves, to the ankles, through the feet. All the way to the tips of the toes. Saturating, saturating every cell through the whole body with the energy of the heart. When you're really just drawing our energy to the top of the upoko. Three breaths, bringing the breath the other way. Drawing energy off the higher faculties, acknowledging these higher spaces that are within each and every one of us. Drawing the breath through, expanding the chest, the heart and releasing down through the Pumanawa into Papa. Akiroto. Akiwako. Akiroto. Going off the higher self, expanding the chest, releasing the breath down through the Pumanoa, the emotional house, and releasing through into Papa. Ano Hakiroto Liupoko. Releasing the breath. To Papa. <coughs> Akiroto. Akiwaho.
slowly when you're ready slowly open your eyes holding that state and rising to our feet for our kokipito beginning to move our attention into our tinana We need to open up the body, facing our tight afiti. Find your pose position, hakiroto, draw the breath through the feet. The breath in, hakiwako. Hakiroto, join the breath through the feet. Hakiwako. Facing our east. Hakiroto, start to engage the tinana. Hakiwako. Ko tipito, come to our center. Tu fera mai ki arangi nui, ta moa ki a papa tu anuku. Ko te pito, mindful, our centre, putting ourselves in the world of light. Puti a te mauri, grasp, take hold of your life force. He oranga wairua, he oranga hinengaro, he oranga tinana, he oranga fano. Or tipito, both sides. Kote tu tamatane. Kote tu tamawahine. Now, male and female essence return unto its balanced center. Kote tipito. Oki fakamuri. Me anga tu tinga tu pona. Hei oranga. Ungauri. Wakaheke, ko te pito, be well for our generations that are to come. Tukuna ta mauri, korero mai ti hei. Huri, turning to our taitonga, to our self. More emphasis in the movement, hakina, haputa. Hakina, haputa. Hakina, Haputa, Koti Pito, we turn to your centre. Tu fera mai ki arangi nui, ta mo waki a papa tu anuku. Koti Pito, activating the tinama. Uti a te mauri, he oranga wairua, he oranga hinengaro. He oranga tīnana, he oranga whānau, ko te pito, nonzing both sides. Te tū tamatāne, our main lessons bring forth. Te tū tamawahine, feminine, we turn unto its centre, ko te pito. Ko ki whakamuri, we turning back. Me anga atu ki ngā tūpuna. Wisdoms of our ancestors. Hei oranga, be well. Mungauri, whakaheke for our generations to come. Ko te pito. Remain, return to your centre. Tukuna ta mauri, kore rō mai ti hei. From our tai tonga, kuri ki te tai hauauru. To our west, hākina. Haputa, Hakina, Haputa, Hakina, Haputa, Ko te pito. Tu whera mai ki arangi nui, Tā mawa ki a papa tuanuku, Ko te pito, aligning and powering ourselves in the world of light. Puti a te mauri. Fast, take hold of your life force. 
Hei oranga wairua, hei oranga hiningaro, hei oranga tīnana, hei oranga whānei, ko te whitu. Ko te tūtama tāne, ko te tūtama wahine, ko te whitu. Ko ki whakamuri, e a ngā atu ki ngā tūpuna, Hei oranga, o ngauri, whakaheke, o te pito. Always return, maintain your centre. Tukuna tamauri, ti hei. Huri ki te tai tokoro. Always our four directions. Breath in. Release the breath. Pākina. Pāputa. Pākina, pāputa, come back to your centre. Tu whera mai kia rangi nui, tā moua ki a papatua nuku, ko te pito. Te a te mauri, hei oranga wairua, hei oranga hiningaro, hei oranga tīnana, Hei oranga whānau, ko te pitu, ko te tūtama tāne, ko te tūtama wahine, ko te pitu, to its balance centre. Ko ki whakamuri, me a ngā atu ki ngā tūpuna, hei oranga, Mungauri, whakaheke, ko te pito. Always return to your centre. Tukuna tamauri, ti hei. Hākina, hāputa. Hākina, hāputa. Hākina, Pāputa. Eyes closed. Palms facing forward. Just pull your shoulders back. Tilt your upoko as if you're looking to the top of your maunga. Or towards the rising sun. Just feel the energy pulsating through your tinana. Lina mana of tamanui te rā, lina mana of your maunga. Feeling the mana rise within yourself. Wai hāki roto, hāki wahu. Slowly bringing our rako, step forward bringing our rako to our space. I might find it, I'll just tilt my get my little bit. Right. This week just using your rako for balance. Just bringing our right foot, the heel of our right foot. Across to the top of our big toe on the left foot. Just bring pressure just onto the space. This is the one for this week. Just to generate, clear the pathway. This one is to the heart. Just apply pressure to where it is comfortable for you, where you are beginning to feel it. Toru. Rua Kahi, I just bring our wai wai off there and just shake that out. Just walk that out of the big toe. Right. Pakafiti, the left heel across to the top, 
onto the top of the big toe on the right foot. Just bring your pressure one to there. All these high motor through the feet, very good for the internal organs. Always encourage whānau just to go for a walk with bare feet. Just so we connect to Papa. A lot of our synthetic soles and everything, and our shoes and everything begin to disconnect us. We're just having time just to walk on Papa with our feet. Toru, Rua, Tahi. Just bring that pressure off and just walk that out. Last but the touch base at the end of the day. Just doing it once in our, in our sessions. Kapai, bring our rako up. Horizontal in front of us. Palms facing down. Remember, we come up over the upoko, just starting to open up all through the shoulders. Just to where you can get to, where you're comfortable, just to your ability. The more we make these a practice, the more we come in and make the tinama sapo. Moving blocked energy, anything through these spaces. We are count off tahi, rua, toru, fa, lima. Right, come back, mahi penne, one side at a time. Just rotate, rotates around through the shoulder. Right, tahi. Rua, Toru, Fa, Rima, Huri, take the other way, Tahi, Rua, Toru, Fa, Rima, back to the thing. Bring our rako up over the top of the upoko, onto the top of the shoulders, Mahi Pene, the first one, just keep the upoko. The eyes looking straight ahead. You see it pulls more of a stretch into the top of the torso, the top of the tinama. Tahi. Rua. Toru. Pa. Rima. Ono. Pitu. Waru. Iwa. Coke, apply my hip innate right around our eyes to lock directly behind you. Let your tinama follow your eyes and just pivot off that back foot so we're taking the strain off the knees. We're just rotating onto the ball of the foot. Tahi, Rua, Toru. Pa, Rima, Uno, Fitu, Waru, Iwa, Tako, Kapai back to center, Maki Pende, having a rako up the Kaki. Should walk the walk the rako up into the base of the skull. We feel the pressure starting to pull through the base of the skull or through the khaki. We feel that last piece was our two stages. Just starts at the top, opening up, and moves down the spine. Come into this one, more like a midi midi and a rumi rumi through the kaki. Just to move all that energy that gets stagnant through here. Kahi. Rua. Toru. Fa. Rima. Just come to a still space. Apply pressure. Pana ki mua. With your, uh, with your hands. And pushing the rako forward. To the base of the skull. Toru. Rua. Tahi, kapai, just tilt the rako, so bring your right hand forward a little bit, your left hand back, and you'll feel the rako shift to the side of the kaki, bring pressure on again, into this high mata, 
is pushing forward with the hands. Kahi, Lua, Toru, Ba, Lima, Wai Whakawhiti, onto the other side, left hand forward, right hand back a bit, apply pressure to the back of the kaki. Kahi, Lua, Toru, Ba, Lima, Ba, back to centre. Wahipenei huri. So we're walking the rako back down the kaki. You'll feel it hit each side of the neck. You come to the bottom. Tahi. Ua. Toru. Fa. Rima. Mahi anō. We have rako to a still. Apply pressure forward. Feel the rako into the back of the kaki. Tahi, lua, toru, fa, lima. Again, tuta, tuta rako. Right hand forward, just bringing the rako into the side of the kaki. Apply pressure. Tahi, lua, toru, fa, lima. Why fuck a fifty? Join our left hand forward, our right hand back. Do the kaki roll onto the right side of the kaki, apply pressure into the saimata. Always a good one for me through the neck. Tahi, Lua, Toru, Fa, Lima. Apply, bring it back to center. Bring your rako up over the top. Just moving into our breath. So our breath out, going down. Draw the rako up, breath in, breath out. Apply my hip in, breath out, towards the pop up. Draw the rako up, breath in. Drop the rako down the front of the tinana, breath out. 